Hey everybody, this is Stuart Fuchs from Ukulele Zen. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to make this quick video lesson for you. I'm on day two of the Caribbean Ukulele Cruise. I'm co-leading this cruise with Lil Rev. We're having a blast. We have about 50 ukulele players with us. We're strumming and singing our way around the Caribbean on our way to Jamaica right now. And I wish you were here with us. And the best we can do right now, I guess, is to offer you a cruise ship lesson yay <laughs> now last week before I left I released a new ebook it's called rockabilly for ukulele volume one and what this volume one does is it offers you all kinds of cool rhythm skills how to make your ukulele playing sound more like classic rock and roll guitar playing we learn essential strums we learn about boogie lines we learn single note licks and a whole bunch of stuff about finger picking too there are 16 videos that go with this book and you can access them just by clicking on the links in the ebook you can also watch all the videos on a playlist on my YouTube channel. It's all in the book. Now what I wanted to do with this was to show you a song. It only has four chords. It's Carl Perkins' Honey Don't. Great tune. The Beatles recorded it. And what I'd like to show you is how you can use these skills to embellish four chords and make your playing sound a lot like classic rock and roll rockabilly playing. So please take these steal them, use them, share them with your friends. So the chords we need for Honey Don't are A. You're also gonna need an F chord. You just move that one finger down, one string, and you get an F chord. You're also gonna need a D7 chord. You can play it that way, you can play it that way. You can also play the open D7 as well. All right? And we're also gonna need an E7 chord. So just a word about the song structure before we get started. It's very much like a 12-bar blues using A, D7, and E7. Now the fourth chord is what makes it so special. Carl Perkins wrote this song using this relationship between A and F. At the top of each verse, he goes back and forth between these two chords twice. The relationship of these two chords is pretty angular, and it gives the song a very unique twist. You'll notice that if you listen to the original and also the, what the Beatles did with it, they lay on that first chord kind of heavily and then you can kind of build back up the volume. And then it goes to E7 and then it's on A again. And then for the choruses, we're playing a 12-bar blues. You'll be noticing that I'm using boogie strums, picking, and also for the solo, I'll be doing some Travis picking. One, two, one, two, three. Well, how come you say you will when you won't? Say you do, baby, when you don't. Let me know just how you feel. Tell the truth, is love real? But uh huh, well, honey, don't, honey, don't, honey, don't, yeah, honey, don't, honey, don't. Say you will when you won't. Uh huh, honey, don't. Here's another verse. Well, love you, baby, and you ought to know I like the way that you wear your clothes Everything about you is so doggone sweet You got that sand all over your feet uh -huh. Well, honey, don't Yeah, honey, don't Honey, don't Yeah, honey, don't Honey, don't say you will when you won't. Uh huh, honey, don't. Solo with Travis. Well, sometimes I love you on a 
Saturday night Sunday morning you don't look right You've been out painting the town Ah, baby, you've been sneaking around uh -huh. Well, honey, don't Yeah, honey, don't Yeah, honey, don't Say you will when you won't Uh-huh, honey, don't Pick it one more time Honey, don't Honey, don't Honey, don't Yeah, honey, don't Say you will when you won't Uh-huh, honey, don't So that's just some of the many possibilities that you can use the skills found in the Rockabilly for Ukulele book using the boogie strums, the boogie lines, and of course the Travis pick. I hope you'll check out the book, tell me what you think about it. Thanks so much for all the enthusiastic response. My next lesson is not going to be about Rockabilly, it's going to be a little something about how to play chord solos in a very easy way. So if you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to Ukulele Zen and please share this video with your friends. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.